What's up, y'all? I'm back, and today we're doing a traditional install. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off by parting out what is being left out. So we're leaving a little bit of her edges out, and then she's getting a side part. So you're going to determine where you want that side part out, and you're going to part enough hair to where it will cover the tracks once the hair is pressed out without you being able to see through. You want to do this on both sides of the parts. Now, even though we're leaving minimal out, you still want it to look natural. So, as you can see, I'm kind of bringing it over just a little uh, since it's a side part. So, that once we press it out, it'll look more natural. You won't, it won't look, basically, it'll give the illusion that it's more hair left out than it really is. It'll just give it more of a natural look. So you're going to go ahead and like braid this section off or down or clip it or put it in a rubber band. You just want to make sure that you separate the leave out um, from the rest of the hair because we're about to go ahead and braid everything else down. Okay, now we're gonna do the braid down. So there are many different ways that people like to do braid downs. I don't know if you might be familiar with doing it in a circle or what they call a beehive or two circles. I used to do those methods a long time ago. I stopped doing them because to me, they didn't give me the flattest results. And you want your installs to be very flat and natural looking. So what I do for my installs are, I basically do my braids going straight down. As you can see, I'll part them along the hairline and then I'll do a braid going across the nape or the back of the head. And I will follow that pattern for the entire braid down. So what I typically like to do is take a piece of braiding hair um, to start with the first braid. Honestly, I'm going to use, even though her hair is really thick and long, I'm still using braiding hair because braiding hair helps reinforce the braid. If you don't use braiding hair, then their hair will get looser faster. So the braiding hair will help the foundation of the install last longer. Now, since she has long, thick hair, I'm only going to use the braiding hair for the first initial braids, and I call those anchor braids. And after that, I'll just only be using her real hair. But for somebody whose hair may not be as long as hers or thick as hers, then I may use braiding hair for each and every braid. Honestly, you can like use your discretion for each individual person's hair to determine whether or not braiding hair is needed like i said if their hair is thin then you would want to use braiding hair or if it's really short then you would want to use braiding hair for all of the braids Okay, now that we're done, this is what the braid down should look like. I just basically braided 
straight down and then I brought the ends up to the next braid. When you do this method, you will literally be left with just one end of a braid and I just sewed that up. Now, if any of you guys would like a more in-depth tutorial on the braid down, let me know in the comments and I can give you a more in-depth tutorial. Okay, now we're ready to start sewing in our bundles. This install will use three bundles. So I start basically in the back of her ear and then I'll bring it around and I'm gonna go back and forth from ear to ear. Now you may also notice that I kept the bundles folded, um, which is creating a double track method. And this is just a faster method that creates a fuller look as well but it just cuts down the time versus unraveling the whole bundle and doing it track by track double track and it's just a faster method also with doing any installs no matter how many bundles that you use you'll do double track method throughout and then once you get to the last bundle or the bundle that goes at the top by the leave out you would single track that that way it gives the flattest result so double track all the bottom bundles and then single track the last bundle that goes at the top okay now that we're at the last braid or the anchor braid what we're gonna do is fold the tracks so that we get and you want to fold it nice and flat and then we're gonna go back and repeat the same method so you're gonna do this back and forth back and forth until you're done with the track now also you guys if you would like me to give you a demonstration on how I fold my tracks so they are completely flat, then I will. Drop comments below if you all need help figuring out how to fold your wefts and make it really flat. Also, when sewing this first bundle, the one that will be at the bottom, you want to kind of go in a U, just a slight U. So when you're going from side to side, you want to kind of go up just a little bit. If, as you can see right here, the tracks are kind of going slightly upward. So you want to do that because that's what brings fullness to the front of the install. Also, I'm sure some of you noticed that I did not use a net. That is because most of my clients do not like the nets, but nets are really good to use when you want to create a very flat, um, seamless install as well. And it, to me, in my opinion, it keeps the tension off of your client's hair. But if you all would like to see me do an install with a net as well, let me know in the comments below. And if you're wondering who this little girl is <laughs> running around, it's my daughter. I brought my daughter to work with me that day. <laughs> now you can see we've reached the top. So like I told you earlier in the video, once you get to the top of the install, you will be single tracking. Now I wanted to give you all a better view. So although I'm single tracking, um, what I do when I get close to where her leave out is, I cut my tracks. This is a very controversial thing, but honestly, in order to get the flattest possible install, especially if the bundles have a very thick weft, it is very necessary. You're literally only gonna cut a few pieces at the top. Other than that, I'm folding all the bundles.
okay boom now we're done sewing all the tracks in so now i'm about to just go ahead and part her hair and press out her leave out As you can see, I'm using my little slick stick before I press her hair because it just helps to press out her roots easier and it helps get really straight. I like to use the flat iron sometimes and sometimes I use my hot comb. Depends on the person's hair to be completely honest, but we're just going to go in and get that really straight. She wanted a bone straight look today, so we're going to keep it simple. I right hear what I'm doing is attempting to prep her baby hairs. The girls like the real dramatic baby hairs right now, so you know, I'm gonna give you what you want. Also, I don't know if you guys are noticing, but remember when we were doing the leave out and I told you to leave, bring that leave out out just a little bit in the front of the hairline. Do you see how natural that looks? Because you can't see any of the tracks. You know, it, made, it just made it that much more natural by bringing the leave out out just a little bit. Now, as you can see, before I press the hair, I sprayed it. Um, there's a soft hold spray that I like to use, and it just cuts down on the frizz, makes the hair really straight. You'll see me use it throughout her press. I'm going to throw up a picture of the spray that I like to use called Sebastian Shaper, so you all can try that out when you get a chance. you guys can you see how silky her hair is um like i said that spray is really good with cutting down on the flyaway sometimes you experience when you're pressing hair so it's just gonna give it a smoother cleaner look to your curls and your presses and i like to just add a frizz serum on top of my um install to finish it off and it just adds extra shine and helps cut down any of the other frizz that you might see and it just looks so good clean polished and silky also pay attention to how you cannot see through her hair that brings me back to what I was saying in the beginning of the video, making sure that your leave out is enough where it's covering the tracks and you cannot see through the hair. Now don't get it twisted you guys, there's a number of factors to getting these types of results like the quality of the hair, the quality of the hot tools you're using, the quality of the products, all of those things play a major role in getting these types of results. If you want to see the type of hair that she had, I'm gonna drop the link down in the description so you can check out the website for the hair. Look at this final look, it's so clean and polished. The hair is so silky and the install is for like. all right thanks for watching you guys please don't forget to hit the link share like comment and subscribe
Thank you.